10th. Birthdays. We got some birthdays. Uh, yeah, big shot birthdays. Actor Peter Coyote uh, is uh, 79 today. He was uh, well, he's a pretty good actor. Uh, actor uh, uh, Charlie uh, Char- uh, Charles Charles Dance. Charles Dance was in the Game of Thrones. He's 74 today. Uh, actor dancer Ben Vereen, 74. Singer uh, Cyril Neville. He is one of the Neville brothers. He's 72 today. Actress Jessica Harper. She was in Pennies of, from Heaven. My favorite year, 71 today. Singer David Lee Roth, the original Van Halen singer. He's a 66. Country singer Tanya Tucker is 62. Actor Julia Sweeney. She was on Saturday Night Live. She is 61. Actor Bradley Whitford with the West Wing is 61. Bassist Martin Kemp of Spandau Ballet. 59 years old today. Drummer Mike Malinen of the Goo Goo Dolls, uh, 53 today. Manu Bennett of Arrow is 51. Actor uh, Jolie uh, Carter, uh, uh, Justified, 51 years old today. Actor Wendy uh, McClendon, Kobe. M- Wendy McClendon, Kobe. The Goldbergs, and she's on Reno 911. She's pretty funny. She's uh, 51 years old today. Actor Mario Lopez, uh, he was on The X Factor. He was originally in Saved by the Bell, uh, and uh, he's just been a host of things. He's up uh, 47. Actor Jody Lynn O'Keefe, uh, she's all that. And Ash Bridges, 42 years old today. And actor Dan Stevens of Downton Abbey, 38 years old today. Local birthdays. We got some local people coming up. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometown, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB in this station. Happy birthdays are going out this morning to Albert Aguilar, Sandra Fierro, Georgie Rocha, Marita de la Cruz, George Diaz, Celia de la Cruz, Cherry Lewis, Panchita Alvarado, Carmel Edwards, Amelia Juarez, Obet Mina, Frank Gastello, Michelle Standiford, Dorina Armenta, Dina Lozano, Eleanor uh, Zuriga, Ariana Revelo, Lydia Diaz, Marcos Liera, Maricela Diaz, Ruben Dominguez, Isabella Neri, and Andrea Nina Miranda. Happy birthday to each and every one. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO, 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXO AM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXO AM 1230, here to make a difference in the Valley. That is time for the uh, World California News Headlines, brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales and service, call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. CBS News Brief. Delta is now a tropical storm after smashing into Louisiana as a major hurricane. The National Hurricane Center says it hit just a few miles from where Hurricane Laura hit just six weeks earlier. WWL-TV meteorologist Chris Franklin says at least it's moving fast. Most of the heavy rain associated with the storm is just about entirely in central and north Louisiana now. So this storm is moving very, very quickly, which was great news. We did not want to see that heavy rain potential if the storm were to ever slow down. President Trump is holding an in-person event at the White House today, but CBS has been Tracy reports. Just a big group of people. The Minnesota Health Department now confirms that nine people who attended the president's rally in Bemidji last month were infected with the virus. Two of them hospitalized. The White House has not said if the president has tested negative for the virus, a sign he would no longer be contagious. CBS News Brief. I'm Allison Keyes. 
Whatever the weather brings, you can rely on a York Affinity Premium System to keep your home cool and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology and helping to significantly reduce your energy bill. Plus, you can stay connected via our Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen thermostat. Yeah, every York unit is designed, engineered, and assembled in the United States and backed by industry leading warranties and affordable financing options are available. Call Lock Air Conditioning, your local York dealer. 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system. Contractor's license 696-216. California Headline News. There's an increase in COVID-19 cases in Los Angeles County and other counties, but officials are not ready yet to say that it's a surge. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi remains optimistic about crafting a new economic stimulus package. She told MSNBC that she has resumed talks with Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin. And so we'll continue our conversation today because it is so necessary to meet the needs of the American people. I do hope that we will have an agreement soon. San Francisco Supervisor Matt Haney says recent attacks in the Tenderloin are sad and unacceptable. Two Asian women in their 70s were attacked on separate occasions last month. You should be able to walk in your neighborhood. There have been a number of incidents recently of uh, API elders, of Chinese elders, of Southeast Asian elders who have been walking in this community and have been attacked senselessly. Mike Salceda, California Headline News. And the World California News Headlines this hour brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning for your air conditioning and sheet metal needs. Call Lock Air Conditioning today, 760-353-4501. Capital One checking and savings accounts have no fees or minimums and a top-rated banking app that lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere, even from your favorite hiking trail. With Capital One's app, you can check your balance, deposit checks, pay bills, and transfer money from wherever you are anytime you want, even when you're cooking dinner. Open a fee-free checking or savings account online in about five minutes. This is banking reimagined. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Consumer accounts only. Approval required. Terms apply. Capital One and Member FDIC. If you're very quiet, you can hear it. The joy, the freedom, the crunch from 100% whole grain oats. Stay outside longer with Nature Valley Oats and Honey Crunchy Granola Bars. We are better outside. The really big fall sales begun at Gap Factory and GapFactory.com. Almost everything 50 to 70% off. And doorbusters start at just $10 right now. Find it all at Gap Factory or GapFactory.com through October 12th. And it is page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley, in Brawley at Highway 86 and Julia Drive and in El Centro on Imperial Avenue right next to Food for Less. A drive-by shooting, a Yuma man was wounded in the drive-by shooting. Yuma County Sheriff's Office is investigating the drive-by shooting that occurred at about 12.30 a.m. Friday. Yuma County Sheriff's Office says that a 31-year-old man was walking in the area of Apache Lane and Crane Street when he was shot multiple times by someone in a vehicle traveling southbound on Apache Lane. The victim was taken to Yuma Regional Medical Center where he remains in in critical condition. The incident is under investigation and the sheriff's office is asking anyone who might have any information on the shooting to contact them. El Centro City Council member Cheryl Viegas Walker has been elected to serve as president of the League of California Cities. Viegas Walker was elected by the League's Board of Directors to serve as the 2020-2021 president and installed on October 9th. Yesterday, uh, Viegas Walker has served on the El Centro City Council since 1997. She's a member of the El Centro Regional Medical Center Board of Trustees. She represents the city of El Centro on the Imperial County Transportation Commission, Imperial County Local Transportation Authority, and the uh, Service Authority for Freeway Emergencies. Vegas Walker is a past president of the uh, Southern California Association of Governments, or SCAG, and is currently a member of the uh, SCAG Transportation and Audit Committee. We'll have more in just a minute. It's Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers for your service needs. Whether it's a lube job, oil and filter change, brake job, battery or wheel balance and alignment, Quick Lane can handle it. And Quick Lane services all makes and all models. 
Oh, and by the way, you never need an appointment. Tires, all the best brands at the best price, guaranteed. See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in the Brawley Auto Plaza, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and on Imperial Avenue in El Centro, right next to Food for Less. And the executive director of the Assault and Sea Authority has announced his retirement. Phil Rosentrader uh, is uh, retiring as a natural resources director for the county of Riverside. Among his assignments with uh, Riverside County was a contracted management of the Assault and Sea Authority since 2015. The SSA is a joint powers authority of Imperial and Riverside counties. The Torres Martinez Band of Desert Coahuila and the Coachella Valley Water District formed in 1993 to empower local entities to work in cooperation and consultation with the state and federal governments to revitalize the Salton Sea. COVID-19 testing, OptumServe is cutting back. They've been providing COVID-19 tests free of charge for the past few months. They have been serving three locations in Brawley, Calexico, and Imperial. They have now cut back on two, uh, two of the locations. Uh, OptumServe is now providing COVID-19 tests in Brawley only. They have closed the other two locations. The tests are available in the Brawley Senior Center, 575 J Street, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Walk-ins are now welcome, but if you want to make an appointment, you can call 888-634-1123 or go to the website thi.care slash COVID testing. That's it. That's page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less and in Brawley on Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Quick Lane services all makes and models and you will never need an appointment. From coast to coast, this is Goddard's Gold, right here on the Imperial Valley. AM 1230, KXO. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Get the gold, Goddard's Gold, Saturday, 9 p.m. to midnight, and Sunday morning, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. That is page two of the local news, brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for your life and health insurance needs or retirement planning. Imperial County Farm Bureau raises $25,100 to donate to local organizations. Imperial County Farm Bureau took a different approach on their regular annual meeting of the uh, members and a Farmer of the Year banquet. That takes place in October each year. The, uh, this event is the Imperial County Farm Bureau's biggest fundraiser for their organization. Instead, they launched a fundraiser campaign uh, to their members in August uh, to raise money for local non profits in need during this time. They announced the fundraiser results at a virtual event that was held October 8th, which included a highlight of the many things that Farm Bureau has worked on over the past year, tribute to the late Mr. Al Kalin and introduction of the 2021 Board of Directors. As an essential industry, farmers and ranchers have continued to feed the nation during these unprecedented times. At the same time, local need for food assistance programs has increased greatly as a result of the pandemic. Perio County Farm Bureau is excited to announce that they have raised a total of $25 Five thousand one hundred dollars, giving a little over four thousand one hundred dollars to each of the uh, selected organizations who have been essential in getting food and additional resources to those in need throughout the Imperial Valley. Organizations that will be receiving these donations are the Brawley Feed the Need, Clexco Neighborhood House, House of Hope, Imperial Valley Food Bank, Nyland Fire Fund, and Westmoreland Community Food Pantry. In addition, there was one special donation made for the Humane Society of Imperial County for $2,000. And next week is, uh, uh, thank you, Code Enforcement Officers, uh, uh, Code Enforcement Appreciation Week. Uh, we are El Centro is, is the uh, theme. Uh, yeah, the, uh, El Centro issuing a big thank you to the Code Enforcement Officers. They say the city appreciates everything they do for the community of El Centro residents. Uh, you are hardworking. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. We are El Centro. 
That is El Centro. Proud of their people. Uh, we got your weather coming up next. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. The high temperature yesterday, 98 degrees. The overnight low this morning, 72. National Weather Service says slightly cooler temperatures are expected this weekend as a weak but dry weather system passes through the region. High temperatures will fall to within a few degrees of seasonal levels but remain just above. For next week, any high pressure should result in another strong warming trend during the first part of the week, resulting in high temperatures again near 100 degrees by Tuesday, while above normal temperatures are likely to persist throughout the week next week with little, if any, chances of rain. Well, the forecast calling for sunny skies today. High is right near more. Winds will be light with 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Overnight lows around 67. Breezy throughout the night. Sunday on Sunday, highs right near more. Winds will be calm. Sunday night, mostly clear skies over around 69, uh, calm winds throughout the night, Sunday night. Columbus Day, Monday, sunny skies, highs right near 99, northwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. And right now, we're looking at 65 degrees, 45%, the relative humidity. Page 2 of the local news and your weather, brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicaid supplements. David West. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometown, and that someone is us. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text rate 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB in this station. And in the uh, world of uh, sports, uh, the uh, uh, NBA finals will continue at least one more game. The uh, Miami Heat made sure of that. Uh, they defeated the uh, Lakers 111 to 108. Uh, Lakers still lead the series three games to two, but it'll move on to the next uh, uh, next uh, game. There's going to be there's going to be a game. Uh, in uh, baseball, the uh, league championships, uh, the uh, division championships are all over. Rays beat the Yankees. They were the last ones. Uh, they beat the Yankees 2-1. to one. Tampa Bay takes that series three games to two. The American League Championship Series starts on Sunday. It'll be the Astros at the Rays uh, and for game one. National League Championship Series begins on uh, Monday. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, that's Sunday. It begins on Monday. Well, on KXO, our first event, uh, we've got the uh, Kansas City Chiefs at the day on Sunday. You'll hear that game on FM 107.5. That's the radio station for the Imperial Valley. Sunday night, it'll be the Vikings at the Seahawks. Monday night, the taking on Saints. Both of those games will be on KXO AM 1230. KXO AM 1230 presents coverage of the Masters. Thursday through Sunday, starting November 12th. Our 2020 Majors Golf coverage is brought to you by Del Rio Country Club in Brawley, Stan's Auto Body in El Centro, Derma's Floor Covering in Imperial, the Committee to Re-Elect Jason Jackson El Centro City Council 2020, the Masters in November on AM 1230. And at the uh, in tennis at uh, the French Open, there is a French Open champion. There is. Uh, she it was uh, Iga Sawatek. Yeah, she she straight sets. Uh, say, uh, she beat uh, Sophia Kennan. Uh, she is now the female champion of the French Open. Men's final uh, is still uh, to be played. That'll be played tomorrow. French Open final. The men's side will feature Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal. 
Again, that's tomorrow. NASCAR playoff series moves on to Charlotte on Sunday on the pole position for the Charlotte uh, playoff uh, uh, race uh, will be Denny Hamlin. And uh, Patrick in golf, uh, Patrick Cantlay is in a five-way tie atop the uh, PGA uh, Tours Shriners Hospital uh, Children's Open. Uh, he is uh, up there uh, with uh, Martin Laird, Peter Malin- Malnati, uh, Brian Harmon, and uh, Austin Cook, uh, the uh, U.S. Open champion Bryson Chambu, uh opened with a 62, was a one-shot behind the, the, uh, the, the those that are tied at the top. Uh, Clara Spilkova, she missed a KPMG women's PGA cut because of a penalty. She had a slow play penalty, so that cost her that she was she missed the cut. Uh, you see, young Kim's birdie bonanza gives her the uh, KPMG uh, Women's PGA Championship lead. And uh, Nelly Corda, she is out at the same tournament. Uh, she has back problems. Uh, she had to uh, resign or retire after the first round. And uh, the New England Patriots have reopened their facility. No Cam Newton uh, at the practice, but everybody else will be there. Uh, No new positive tests for the Tennessee Titans or the New England Patriots uh, for the coronavirus. So their games are going to be rescheduled, and uh, they will be playing not each other, but the games that they had scheduled. Anyway, and, and and the NFL will be reassessing all of that. That's a look at sports. We've got your financial news and weather coming up. KXO AM 1230 can help you publicize your nonprofit group's upcoming events, and we're happy to do it at no charge. To take advantage of our offer, we ask that you let us know about the event at least two weeks ahead of time. Write down the important information. You know who, what, where, when, and so on. Include a name and phone number of a contact person and mail or deliver the information to KXO 420 Main Street, El Centro, California, 92243. Our email address is kxoamfm at kxoradio.com. The information you supply may be used as community news, public service announcements on the KXO info line or on our website. If you're paying for promotion with another advertising medium, we do offer special nonprofit group rates to promote your event. KXOAM 1230 wants to work with you and your community group to make our Imperial Valley a better place. Tell us what's going on and we'll tell everyone else. KXOAM 1230, here to make a difference in the valley. And it's time for financial news and weather. Brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. U.S. stocks rose a Friday as investors remained optimistic over prospects of another round of fiscal stimulus from Congress eventually, uh, with major benchmarks posting their best week since the summer. For the week, Dow uh, gained 3.3%, while the S&P 500 was up 3.8%. NASDAQ was up 4.6%. That marked the strongest week uh, weekly rise for the blue chip index since August 7th, and the best for S&P 500 and NASDAQ since July, according to FactSet. Uh, the uh, small cap uh, Russell 2000 advanced 0.5% on Friday, but closed the week 6.4% higher. Got your weather one more time after this. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. The high temperature yesterday, 98 degrees. Overnight low this morning, 72. National Weather Service says slightly cooler temperatures are expected this weekend as a weak but dry weather system passes through the region. High temperatures will fall to within a few degrees of seasonal levels but remain just above. For next week, increasing high pressure should result in another strong warming trend during the first part of the week, resulting in high temperatures again nearing 100 degrees by Tuesday, while above normal temperatures are likely to persist throughout the week next week with little, if any, chances of rain. 
Weather forecast calling for sunny skies today. Highs right near 94. Winds will be light. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, mostly clear skies. Overnight lows around 67. Breezy throughout the night. Sunny on Sunday. Highs right near 94. Winds will be calm. Sunday night, mostly clear skies. Overnight lows around 69. uh, Calm winds throughout the night. Sunday night. Columbus Day Monday. Sunny skies. Highs right near 99. Northwest winds at around 5 miles per hour. And we're looking at 65 degrees right now, 45% the relative humidity. You heard me say on Columbus Day Monday uh, that it, it's a holiday. Some of the markets will be closed on the uh, before the holiday. Not everybody celebrates Columbus Day anymore, but the markets apparently do. From coast to coast. It's gold, daughter's gold, Saturday 9 p.m. to midnight and Sunday morning 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And your financial news and weather brought to you by Roto Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. We're coming up on uh, CBS News at the top of the hour. If you're thinking about coming across the border, well, go right ahead. There's not a whole lot to it. 15 to 20 minute wait downtown, and that's it. No wait in the Century Lane, no wait in the Pedestrian Lane, no wait at the East Port, the Gateway Port at all. The best oldies on the radio. KXO, El Centro, the Imperial Valley's local news source. At the tone, it will be uh, 8 o'clock, CBS News time. CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Allison Keyes in Washington. Devastation in Louisiana after what was once hurricane.